Come on, dude. You're just nothing but a dumb bear. Smack, smack. When bears, sharks, and raccoons attack. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funny animal attack scenes in movies. For this list, we're taking a look at big screen scenes in which animals attack man with ferociously hilarious results. What's your plan? First, I plan to soil myself. Then I'm going to regroup and come up with a new plan. Any thoughts? If this isn't enough carnage for you, also check out our lists for the top 10 serious animal attack scenes and top 10 monstrous, meaning fictional animal attack scenes, as this is just one of a series of videos on the topic. Get afraid of my noble jungle dweller. Your brother mean no harm. Oh my God! Oh my God! Number 10, I killed a panda, Tropic Thunder. As adorable as pandas appear, they can be quite vicious in the wild. Attacked by an unseen beast, actor Tug Speedman gets to play the role of a Rambo-esque action hero for real. Tug comes out of character, however, upon realizing that he's killed what he loves most. This scene from Tropic Thunder wouldn't be nearly as funny if the slain bear's carcass looked remotely realistic, but director Ben Stiller wisely made it look even cartoonier than Kung Fu Panda. He also finds a way to accessorize the endangered species' remains. Number 9. Bat attack, black sheep. You totally didn't touch it. Well, then you touch it. Sometimes the smallest of critters can wreak the most havoc, especially when it's attacking two idiots like Mike and Steve. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, what is that? It's Ozzy Osbourne. In a cabin, a winged fiend suddenly intrudes upon the rejects. They try everything to get rid of the unwelcome visitor, such as refrigerator light, pots, and batting it with a broom. All over the fridge, you hit the lights. Bats are attracted to light. Buy in the fridge, I close the door, and a story. Then, when the two stooges finally ditch the pest, they casually go to bed and act like nothing just happened. Good night, Steve. Fortunately, no animals were harmed during the making of this 1996 comedy, although Chris Farley most likely was. Oh, why are you hitting me? Oh, it's gnawing at my skull! For God's sake! Number 8. Coon Coma, Saving Silverman. Hey. Although raccoons can be quite friendly towards humans, this scene from Saving Silverman exemplifies the idea that you shouldn't mess with their young. Called in to take care of a big, fierce animal, Steve Zahn's Wayne finds something smaller and cuddlier hiding under the house. Hey, where is your mommy? <laughs> the cute rodent's mother, on the other hand, is much more hazardous than she is huggable. Leaping out of nowhere, the mama raccoon rips into the incompetent exterminator's empty head. <laughs> And if you think a tranquilizer dart is more powerful than a mother's love, think again. She is in one deep coon coma. <laughs> Number 7. Big Bear Chase Me, The Great Outdoors. A family vacation comedy like The Great Outdoors is guaranteed to have at least one animal attack scene. Attempting to rescue the twins from a mine shaft, John Candy's Chet instead lures the legendary bald-headed bear. As Chet's wife prepares him a sandwich back at the cabin, the bear sandwiches Chet between the door and the floor. <laughs> Luckily, Wally storms in with a loaded lamp shotgun. With perfect aim and timing, Chet fires and skins the bear right in the... Well, see for yourself. Ouch! She's bald on both ends now. Number 6. Puffy on speed, there's something about Mary. Hey. Hey, are you the little guy making all that big noise, huh? Mm -hmm. 
The Farrelly brothers have a bizarre attraction to comedy involving animal cruelty. Their most hilariously heinous act against the animal kingdom being this scene from their Something About Mary. <laughs> Hopped up on speed, Puffy the Terrier unleashes the wolf inside on Ben Stiller, who's no stranger to ornery animals. Take a little bit of today. As Puffy mauls him across the floor, Stiller throws the lethal pooch around like a rag doll. The only thing funnier than watching the two wrestle is the fight's aftermath. Just as Puffy's left in stitches, so is the audience. Number 5. Dobie Returns, Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues Ron, what are you doing? Dobie! He's not your friend! Dobie! Dobie! When Will Ferrell announced Anchorman 2, nobody knew what to expect from the long-awaited sequel. It's unlikely anyone anticipated that the comedy would open with Ron Burgundy being attacked by a shark, however. Ah! It's later revealed that the shark is Ron's former pet, Dobie, who has made a splash at Brick's wedding. Oh my god, it's Dobie! Overjoyed, Ron jumps into the ocean and reunites with his old friend. Regrettably, the expressionless Dobie doesn't seem to recall his day's bottle feeding with Ron. Dobie, it's me! Ah! The good news is Baxter's there to save the day once again. Good boy. <laughs> Four, raccoon Hug, Elf. Hey, what's your name? My name's Buddy. Yet another animal attack scene involving Will Ferrell, Buddy doesn't get the warmest of welcomes upon arriving in the big city. Does someone need a hug? Wandering through the woods, the human raised among elves learns that New York's woodland creatures aren't as wholesome as the ones from stop motion Christmas specials. <laughs> <laughs> As he closes in for a hug, the startled raccoon closes in for the kill. In addition to being hysterical, this scene from Elf speaks to every child that's ever wanted to make friends with wildlife. Sometimes, though, you need to let nature be. Number 3. It's not Snowflake, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective Ace Ventura loves animals of virtually all kinds, whether they're fluffy or fatal. In his first film, the pet detective is tasked with locating a kidnapped dolphin. Snowflake! Here, Snowflake! Following a lead, Ace doesn't fish out Snowflake, but he does uncover another creature of the deep sea. <laughs> While watching an unsuspecting man get ambushed by a shark is already funny, it's Jim Carrey's facial expressions and unmatched energy that elevate this scene to comedic gold. He will stay 100% committed to a role no matter what the filmmakers throw at him, even sharks. Do not go in there. Woo! Number 2. Rabid Raccoon, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Among Harold and Kumar's numerous hijinks on their initial road trip, one of the funniest has got to be the duo's encounter with a rabid raccoon. While Kumar stops to take a leak, the raccoon stealthily sneaks into the car. As with all great comedy bits, the varmint finally emerges from hiding when our characters and the audience least expect it. After all the shit that we've been through tonight, I don't know how much more I can take. The raccoon bites Harold's neck, proceeding to cough up the blood. Equally shocking and side-splitting, this rascally raccoon might kill your buzz, but at least it didn't kill Harold. our top pick preys upon us, here are a few honorable mentions. And then what do you say to yourself? Jesus! Yes, you can turn to religion or family and friends, but in the end, you're still in agony. 
Number one, it is the rabbit, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Right, keep me covered. Just as the filmmakers couldn't afford horses in Monty Python and the Holy Grail, they also couldn't afford flashy effects for the Black Beast of Kyrbanog. What, behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit. This once again worked to the film's advantage, though, as the beast turns out to be a rabbit. It's no ordinary rabbit. Oh. That's the most foul, cruel, and bad-tempered rodent you ever set eyes on. This is no ordinary rabbit, however. It can decapitate knights, make you soil your armor, and leave King Arthur running away like a pansy. Look! Ah! Jesus Christ! I warned you! His only weakness? The Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch. One, two, five! Frieza! Three! The scene might have cost little to shoot, but it's truly nothing short of priceless. Right, how many did we lose? Gawain, Hector, and Bors, that's five. Frieza! Three, three. And we better not risk another frontal assault, that rabbit's dynamite. Do you agree with our list? What animal attack scene had you howling with laughter? For more uproarious top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.